everyone. Thanks for joining us for a conversation with. My name is Amanda Yanez, and I'm here with Jason Kane and the Jive. Two of y'all, at least. What's going on, guys? What's up? Doing? What's up? Thanks for joining us tonight. Oh, thanks for having us. Yes, I'm. I'm so excited to dive deep into who y'all are. But first, I'm gonna let you guys introduce yourselves. Jason, you play. Uh, I play guitar, and I'm play. the singer. Yeah, I play guitar and the singer, and then we've got Nick. I play bass. He also talks in bass. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, so, Jason Kane in the Jive is blowing up. Y'all are international now. You were just on a Canadian interview. Yeah, tell us what that was like. It was cool. Um, we got an email from Student Canada that was asking us about this cover that's on the album from this band, Lucifer's Friend. They're a big rock band, more overseas, and uh, he was, just, was real interested in that, and I mm -hmm. sent him the rest of the album and not knowing that he even did interviews. I just thought he was a listener. And then he hit me up with all these questions and stuff, so really cool. Yeah, yeah. so a spontaneous interview for you. Yeah. What is that like for you guys to be, like, international? Oh, we love it. Yeah. Yeah, the Canadian review, and then we have a few UK uh, reviews. And No way. What is the magazine? Uh, Power Play magazine and Fireworks magazine as well. Wow. Yeah. Dang. So it's branching out there. There's yes. a Barcelona review and... Uh, a few Germany ones. So, it's... and I kind of feel like there's a lot of legendary rockers in the UK that maybe also tailor to like your scene and your style. What are some of the UK rockers that you guys draw some inspiration from? I know he's not from the UK, but I know he was there for a while. And we got to play with him. It was Pat Travers, and he was Whoa. telling us about his stay in England and how different it was from the states and stuff. But he was super cool. <laughs> any yeah. any talks of you guys traveling to the UK? Whenever all of this stuff is yeah, over, yeah, that's probably oh, one of yeah. the first places we're gonna hit up once everything gets lifted. Wow, but, what what's like your what's your like all time destination that you guys definitely want to hit? That's a good question, man. Probably Germany or UK. Yeah, Germany yeah. or Maybe Mexico, Japan. Mexico. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, everyone's just gonna be like, I want mustaches too. <laughs> They're all gonna come to like the shows when they have like mustaches there. Oh, that'd be killer. That would be so cool. <laughs> right? That'd be so neat. And coming to that, you guys are very definitive in your style. Like everyone in San Antonio knows you guys from your music, of course, <laughs> because the music is great, guys. But also, you come with like this charming classic rock look. What inspires that? Is it empowering oh, thank for you? you? It's uh, just how I've always dressed. You know, yeah. people always ask like, man, is that a costume or like, especially in Halloween, Halloween, that's a, everyone's <laughs> favorite day to ask me like, Hey, what are you supposed to be dressed up as? And I'm like, mother <laughs> my normal clothes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it's just, it's our style, you know? Yeah. yeah. Just who we are. Yeah. And the shades of course are always there. Oh, yes. yeah. We can't see. We're blind. <laughs> we're all prescription. Right. <laughs> all of the best rockers and legendary musicians are blind. So other than that. You guys are famous now, internationally famous. You guys have the look. But let's talk about the origins and where you guys came from. And primarily, I'm going to focus on you, Jason Kane, because you were there at SeaWorld <laughs> getting that character built. Yeah. <laughs> I started off uh, acoustic. I was doing acoustic, and then uh, that's when I met Nick, started the band, and I started working at Six Flags, mm -hmm. performer, singer, and that kind of helped me with the live performance thing, and then... After that, we did the jive seriously in, uh, as like our main job. And then uh, I started working at SeaWorld again, picking up the solo acoustic gigs. <laughs> just recently did the uh, Winter Wonderland deal there with the Christmas season, but it's cool. <laughs> I dig it. It's different, you know, but I always like learning new things and trying them out. Yeah. Did you say, so like, did you meet Nick at SeaWorld? Were you at SeaWorld too? No. Oh. I would have been saying, like, this is a SeaWorld crew up there. <laughs> <laughs> did they know? I thought, so where did you meet Nick? Um, his buddy actually gave me a call, and they, he had his own band with Nick, and um, they needed a singer. Mm. He called me up. He's like, this is Jason K, man. I'm looking for a rock and roll mother. <laughs> and I was like, I love this guy. I was Here. like, Yeah. I was like, I'm just going to go meet you just because you said that. <laughs> and like, so I ended up meeting Nick that day, and, um, you know, after the band went on, those guys – got into our own deals and then me and Nick were just like, dude, we, we wanted to do it for real out mm -hmm. of those, that group and we just stuck together. Right on. So Nick, tell us a little bit about your experience in Jason Kane and how you're evolving as a musician with that. Well, yeah, when I first met him that night, I think the first couple songs I heard him sing was Come Together, Beatles, oh, yeah. of course, and then he sang uh, Show Me How to Live, Audio Slave. 
Mm. And I just heard that, and I knew. Yeah, I just knew. I knew right off of that that he he was the man. So Mm. I knew I had to stick with him as long as I could, and still going to this day. Yeah. And you know we've created something beautiful, and I hope it continues. Yeah, so the two of you guys are the core of Jason Kane with a variety of musicians that come in and out. You say you also play keys. Um, what is it that you two work together best with? I mean, is it communication? Do you guys just hear each other's musical notes and just kind of play off of each other? What's the dynamic between the two of you? It's very yin and yang. Yeah. You know, very like totally different, but then in the music, we're just, we mesh well. You know, we jam well. Mm-hmm. And we I would... just understand where we're coming from with the the riff you know yeah and just just getting to know you guys now I would feel that like and correct me if I'm wrong but I feel like you're like the extrovert of the band and the introvert of the band (laughs) is that (laughs) because I mean if y'all didn't know Jason Kane also dances (laughs) (laughs) so would you say also you guys are like that musician musician kind of yeah yeah it's It's like night and day yeah uh... yeah that's cool yeah that's cool yeah, we definitely we finish each other's sentences and stuff kind of musically with the writing. He'll start writing something, I'll be like, oh, I know what you're going to next. And if I give him something, he'll be like, oh, this is what you need. You know, he'll lay, lay down a quick lick. But. And that's always beautiful to, like, be able to write songs seamlessly. Yeah, we're excited for this new stuff we got coming out. Holy cow. Tell us about it. Yeah, we got, um, we're probably going to release everything as singles, but we got about, like, ten you say like 10 new songs, maybe more? Just about, yeah. A whole album's worth. Yeah. yeah. Have you guys been working on that through 2020? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's all we could do. Because ain't nothing else to do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we just kept writing. Yeah. What yeah. about music videos? Yeah, we, we try to pick up on those. We get a few new ones coming out for mm-hmm. um, a few songs off our third album, Soggy Noggin. Um, keep an eye out for a, a smooth operator or a wet brain video from one of those songs. Should be coming up. Oh, not a cool title. <laughs> what a cool title yeah uh over 2020 i saw you guys releasing like a new music video almost like every month like towards the end of the year or like yeah. end of summer so um in your production do you see yourself also doing music videos this year too or oh, just yeah. releasing the album oh, yeah, yeah that, they're just gonna get even better like uh, we just were talking the other day we're like man we need to up the game on the music video so we're we're gonna start doing like bigger production videos for for these songs coming up so wow we're excited it's all moving up for us do you guys have some filming options in austin now that you're playing there not yet more? but not if we're yet. gonna get some we yeah. met these killer light dudes that do this awesome acid light show like so hopefully those maybe, are the best i know so hopefully <laughs> we can mix with them i want like sometimes i feel like if i were to play with like an amazing light show in the background i would just kind of be like ah Ooh, and yeah. then stop playing and be like, this is really, oh, wait, 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 ah! the Strobe lights, that's what gets us. We'll be like, oh, where am I? <laughs> I'm in an alternate dimension, the Jason Kane dimension. <laughs> Very cool, then you start breakdancing. But anyways, <laughs> I'm like stuck. I'm stuck on this. After Jason Kane told me that he is also a dancer, I like can't, I can't get it out of my head. Like, Almost. I need to see it. I'll show you some videos. Maybe but. maybe that's like some uh, B footage for y'all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we doing the splits real right. quick. Right on. Cafeteria. Special <laughs> feature on the DVD right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel I'm just like I'm so ready for that right now. All right, guys. Well, this has been amazing talking with you guys, and I can't wait to learn more about you um, and hear all of the music coming out. What is the most recent album that we can check out for y'all? You want to answer it? Uh, we have a Soggy Noggin, which we released last March, kind of when everything first hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have everything on our YouTube channel. Just search up Jason Kane and the Jive. You'll find all of our stuff. You'll find all the music videos, all the live shows and all that stuff. And on Facebook, just check us out. Cool. Yeah. And if you wouldn't mind, why don't you tell us what your Facebook tag is? Instagram, Snapchat, all of those. I'm Nick Jive on Instagram. And uh, our Facebook is Jason Kane and the Jive and Nick Jive for Facebook, too. Yeah. Nick Jive. Find me on Instagram, Mouthful of J, and um, our YouTube. And I just wanted to say that we, we are working on getting our music back online. It has been taken off, but um, we're going to have a big re-release along with some new um, stuff coming out. So that should be back up soon. Awesome. We're excited to see the promotions for that. I, for one, am excited to go to a Jason Kane and the Jive show. First one, whenever that does happen yeah, in the yeah. upcoming future, and you guys should check it out too. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I'm excited to hear more from y'all. Be sure to stay tuned for the next episode of A Conversation With. Thanks so much, guys. 
What's going on, Cibolo Live community family out there? I hope you enjoyed that awesome interview that I had with Jason Kane and The Drive. Nick and Jason had an opportunity to sit down with me and tell me about their lives. It was super fun. SeaWorld? What? <laughs> uh, totally cool. I'm so excited to get into the next set. And guys, take it away. Tell us about your next song. This is a song off our first album. Maybe a third or fourth song. This is called Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball. Let's hear it. Save me. 
of the door. Live in the cold house blues once more.
Before we go into the next songs, we want to make sure that you guys are introduced properly. We are here with Jason Kane and the Jive here at Cibolo Live. Please sound off of all the things that you guys are doing. Jason, let's start with you. Right now, we're currently getting ready to release some new music and re-release our old music. So hopefully soon, here in town, we'll be throwing a big show as a re-release party for all the Jive music. Ow! And uh, introducing some new music videos and some new tunes as well. We just played one of them tonight yes. earlier in the set. But um, yeah, we were looking really forward to that. And uh All right. We cool. Did, uh, we just did the two combined. All right, so we got uh, four songs, I guess. Jason, is that right? We got four songs left? One more. We got one more song, but before we head out into our last song, let's go ahead and do an uh, a, uh, introduction to everybody here in the band because we got to know who you are. We're still going to start with Jason Kane over here on guitar. I'm Jason yes. Kane, and I'm singing and uh, doing the guitar and trying to play harmonica. Ow! <laughs> Over here on drums, we've got Steven. What up, what up? Steven Rodriguez. What's from, up, Steven? From San Antonio. And, um, yeah, I play drums, so I'm chilling back here. You don't play drums. You are drums. Ooh, ooh, I appreciate the love. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, and we've got Nick over here on bass. What's hey. up, Nick? Hey, what's going on, man? Nick Jive, you know what it is. I'm landing on the groove, <laughs> doing what we do. Oh, man. <laughs> With that voice, dude. I can't mm -hmm. get over it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining us here at Cibolo Live. We're here with Jason Kane. I am your host, Amanda Yanez. And we've got one more song. Is that where we're at? We got uh, two more. We got two more songs for you guys. So stay tuned, turn it up, and let's jive. Let's go, guys. All right, all right. Before we start this next song, I'd like to dedicate it to a buddy of mine that just passed, and uh, we were in a band together called Las Cruces, and this is not only for Paul De Leon, but all my buddies in Las Cruces. This is for you guys. <laughs>
That was a nice little dedication right there, man. Thank you. I love it. You got time for one more. Jason, take us out. Yes. All right. This is the last song one of more. our second album. This <laughs> is off the album Hellacious Boogie. Hellacious Boogie. Let's hear it.
what you want. Tell us what you got, Jason. Tell us what you got. Oh, man. That's it for us for today, but I want to thank you guys for having us. Thank you, everyone out there, for watching. We're Jason Kane, The Jive, coming to you live to one of the hottest studios here in San Antonio, Cibolo Studios. Cibolo <laughs> Studios is right. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight for one of the most amazing, legendary shows that we've had here at Cibolo Live. Be sure to check out Jason Kane and The Jive here on Facebook. Do you want to give us some tags here, uh, Jason, so that we can uh, check you guys out later? Yeah, uh, check out our YouTube page, or you can check out our Instagrams. We got Steve-O Drums for Instagram. What up, what up, what up, yep. We got Instagram, we got Facebook. Uh, Nick, Nick, take Jive, it away. Nick Jive, and then my Instagram. But Nick, yeah. tell them what's up. Yeah, man, just check out, uh, we got everything on our Facebook or our YouTube. You'll find all of our music videos, all of our music, and some of our live shows we've done in the past. And then just stick around. We're going to be releasing new music really soon. Yes. Uh, and uh, it's going to be some groovy shit. Yes, I'm so excited, guys. I could not keep myself from jiving to this jive. So be sure to check out uh, Nick Kane. Wait, not Nick Kane. <laughs> that was you. Jason Kane and the jive here on Facebook. I think you guys are on Instagram, too. You guys are on Spotify. How can we find you guys just as your band name? Jason Kane yeah, and the jive. Just as our band name right now. Our stuff isn't up there right now, but we're getting it back. And it's coming it, it's soon, guys. Yeah, it's going to be real soon. There's going to be some new music and all our albums back up there correctly and remastered and all this stuff. So. Ow! Right on, guys. Thank you so much for joining us tonight here at Cibolo Live. We hope to see you guys next week. All right. You guys have an awesome night. Thank you, Jason Kane and the driver. Uh, coming out here and hanging out with us. I certainly had a really great time driving to you guys. Ow! You guys have an awesome night. See you guys next week.